Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on January 31, 2024. Boris Nadezhdan, Putin challenger submits bid to run for Russian president. BBC, Putin challenger submits 105,000 signatures backing his election campaign. Politico Europe, Ukraine war s, Putin's anti-war opponent takes step toward election. Russia says West could meddle in upcoming vote. CNBC, Ukraine war critic submits bid to challenge Putin for Russia's presidency. Al Jazeera English, Putin critic and anti-war candidate submits 105,000 signatures for Russian presidential election bid. Sydney Harbour shark attack victim Lauren O'Neill praises heroic neighbours who saved her. Sky News, rare Sydney Harbour shark attack puts swimmers on edge. CNN, woman hailed as hero after surviving brutal shark attack in Sydney Harbour. The Independent, Sydney Harbour shark attack leaves woman seriously injured. Man who tried to blame twin brother for raping girl, 9, and jogger is jailed for 140 years. Sky News, California predator who blamed identical twin brother for raping 9-year-old girl and woman in 1990s is sent. Daily Mail, backquote sexual carnivore backquote, California man who tried to blame twin brother for rape sentenced to 140 years in prison. WION, California man who blamed twin brother for cold case rapes of girl and jogger is sentenced to 140 years in prison. Auction of Nelson Mandela's belongings suspended after outcry from South Africa Heritage Agency. The Guardian, Nelson Mandela's personal items under the hammer in New York. Why it outraged some, and what's at stake? The conversation, Mandela auction suspended amid row over heritage. DW, English, auction of Nelson Mandela's ID and personal items suspended. News 24, auction to sell Mandela's personal items suspended. Trump says he is shopping around for new law firm as Alina Haber faces scrutiny. The Independent, the grim aftermath of the E. Jean Carroll verdict. The Atlantic, details of Trump's $83.3 million payment to E. Jean Carroll. The New York Times, E. Jean Carroll's attorney denies last-ditch claims raised by Trump's lawyer about ties to judge. Ukraine and Russia complete first prisoner swap since plane crash. BBC, Russia and Ukraine exchange POWs after plane crash prevented last swap. The Guardian, Russia and Ukraine complete first prisoner exchange since plane crash. Al Jazeera English, Ukraine says still no evidence POWs were on board downed Russian plane. The Independent, external impact, caused Russian military plane crash, TASS. Man arrested for father's murder after showing decapitated head on YouTube. The Independent, man charged with killing father after showing off his decapitated head in YouTube video. Sky News, man is charged with killing his father after posting grisly YouTube video. The New York Times, US man beheads his father and displays decapitated head in YouTube video protesting against Biden. Thailand, popular reformist party move forward could be dissolved after court loss. BBC, Thai court rules move forward party must end bid to reform laissez majesty law. The Guardian, Thai court orders election winning party to end its royal reform campaign in blow to voters who back change. CNN, Thai court rules MFP bid to reform laissez majest law violates constitution. Al Jazeera English, Thai court orders election winners to abandon plan to change royal insults law. IMF warns Jeremy Hunt against further tax cuts in March budget. The Independent, IMF warns UK government against further tax cuts. BBC, little room for big tax cuts, Hunt tells Tories. The Times, IMF warns Jeremy Hunt against tax cuts in budget. The Guardian, Chancellor Jeremy Hunt urged not to cut taxes by International Monetary Fund. Kataib Hezbollah, Iran-backed group suspends attacks against U.S. after drone strike. BBC, Iran not seeking war with U.S. but, not afraid of it, says military chief. The Guardian, what is Tower 22, the military base that was attacked in Jordan where three U.S. troops were killed. The Associated Press, Iran-backed Kataib Hezbollah suspends attacks on U.S. forces after Jordan drone strike. The Independent, widening Mideast crisis, Iran suggests it doesn't want war after U.S. warning over drone attack. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening.
Please do not forget to like and subscribe.